Hello Aquarius and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. Thank you so much for joining me Aquarius. So for today's tarot reading I'm doing a reading on no contact which means Aquarius you're not talking to your person, your person isn't making contact so let's find out what is going on, what's the possible outcome, what has been the challenge and everything else that you need to know. So let's begin Aquarius. For those who are new my name is Gigi and welcome. I just want to also mention we do have a master tarot course, so if you are interested in learning tarot and you really want to become a master to read for yourself and for others, please do check out fifigigitarot.com. There is an online course completely self-paced and you can download the material onto your desktop and laptop. So if you are interested, visit fifigigitarot.com. If you also want to purchase any of these tarot cards, they are down below in the description box. This is the tarot of ours I will be using along with the spellcasters and the light seers for the final message and advice. Excellent. So Aquarius, beautiful Aquarius, awesome, amazing, intelligent Aquarius. Let's begin, please. Behind the deck, we have justice here. Justice. So justice is all about finding that right balance here, making sure that you have the right balance in your life, Aquarius. So make sure there's room for love, career, socialization, having fun. Make sure that there is always, you have the right balance and you're not just keeping life with just work, work, work. No, we need to also have fun. We need to have the right balance in our life here. So let's have a look, Aquarius. What's your story? Mm, king of Cups. You've been represented as the King of Cups. Someone that not afraid to express your emotions, not afraid to hold back. So if you see something that you love, that you have passion for, you will speak your mind. You're very nurturing also. You may be also in the area of, for example, nursing or counseling, psychology, you have that gift of the gap and you're just very, you have that nurturing quality, the gift of the gap about you and you have feelings. You hate injustice. You know, people, vulnerable people getting hurt. No, you have that ability just to, and be very humanitarian. So what's going on with both of you? Excellent. So we do have the star. So you and your other person have lots of wishes and again, the star is Aquarius energy. So especially you, Aquarius, you have lots of wishes for you, for you and your other person. It could be getting back together again. Let's contact again. Let's compromise. Let's have that conversation. So Aquarius, you can definitely pause this video and make a wish with intention. So see it in your mind's eye. See it, hear it, and feel it. I can definitely see wishes are coming true here. The advice from your spirit team, be structured and be disciplined, Aquarius. This is literally all the kings wrapped up in one. It is time to be more structured now. Be disciplined. Do not be afraid to make those decisions here. Have that right balance in your life. That's, that's the reason why you also had justice here, behind you here. So really step up here. You need to. If you need to really step up and just find that discipline in your life, whether it's taking care of yourself. Also, if you want to lose weight, if you want to really make that change, be disciplined. Now, your person's story, hmm, the moon. So your person exactly hasn't been honest with you. There has been an issue of trust, secrets. So there's lots of secrets here. There's mystery. And the thing is, Aquarius, you... You don't know what's going on. That's the problem. If anything, you're, there's, there could have been exact a lot of fears also in the sense of, I don't know what's happening. Um, my person's acting out of character. There, there's, there's something up. Now, the moon does mean, yes, secrets. Sometimes, not always, a secret affair. But there's definitely something going on with your person. The beating heart of the reading, the nine of swords. Nobody is sleeping at night. So both of you have anxiety, stress at night. You're, you're both worried because of fear of the unknown. What could happen? What could happen in the future? And this is when there is high anxiety, overthinking, ruminating, overthinking about the problem, the mystery, the secrets here. 
Now, your person hasn't contacted you because they're guilty of something. Here we have the seven of swords. There's, there, when there is guilt, when there is something that they've been hiding, they're afraid to face the music. That's why they haven't contacted you, Aquarius. That's probably the reason why you also have the emperor. Do not put up with any BS. Put your foot down. Be Step up like the emperor. The emperor literally, like I said, doesn't tolerate anything, Aquarius. So the seven of sword, that's the card of lying, stealing, and cheating. So why is this person sneaking out at night? What do they have to hide? This could be something in their phone, for example, something hidden in their phone, a message perhaps. What is their actions towards you? Yeah. So the page of pentacles, they will contact you, Aquarius. It will be a small message. It's going to start off really, really small, perhaps a text message, uh, but they definitely will take action, but it will be small. Now, again, this could be because of their actions. You may have caught this person out like they you caught something perhaps, you found out about something, and this is the reason why there's no contact because of this person's behavior. But they're, they're definitely going to be messaging you, the high priestess. Now, the challenge that there's been in this relationship is the secrecy. That's the issue here. You have to remember the high priestess, and just like the moon, they're very, very similar cards. In the sense, though, with the high priestess, you found out about something, Aquarius. Something was exposed to you. So here, this is something hidden from you. There is something hidden here, but you found out about it. You listened to your intuition and you found out. That's the thing. You, you saw it. You, your intuition was nudging you, Aquarius, and you found out. So your curiosity was confirmed. How this person was acting. What is the outcome? Page of Cups. So more messages. There could be an, I feel the page of cup is more uh, a message of an apology because there are messages that are being triggered here. So this page can come across as, I'm sorry, I still love you. There's, there's mixed emotions here. This is not telling me whether you're going to take this person back or not. This is just, just this is only just telling me there's messages coming, going back and forth between you and your person, Aquarius. Let's get some confirmation. Let's understand this reading further. Let's dig deeper. So I will be using the Spellcaster's Tarot. Again, if you do wish to purchase any of these tarot cards, that's down below in the description box. Let's have a look. But there's definitely been, there's been an issue of trust here. Definitely. Okay. Let's find out. And I feel though, Aquarius, especially here with the star, you had a lot of high hopes with this person. That's the thing. You thought very highly of this person. You literally, like you felt like even being with this person, it was like a dream come true because you felt amazing. The King of Cups. Oops. So we do have the magician here. So again, Aquarius, you can manifest anything. There's literally nothing that you cannot do. You have that magic within you. When you feel that there is something wrong, it's like you're you've got a very good connection with your intuition. You can literally do anything you want. You have magic. If you want this person back, it will be completely up to you. But if you want a new relationship, if you want to move on, if you want something better, you can definitely have that. Definitely. So again, I'm already seeing that with you, Aquarius, you have good intentions, really good intentions. You're very in tune with your emotions. You're not, ex not afraid to express, to tell someone, I love you. And at the same time, you're prepared to give your world to this person, to manifest, to plan in the future, like long term. You're ready to do it all. What about the star? Also the chariot. Again, 
I feel like both of you moved quite fast into this relationship. It's like you met each other and you moved really, really fast. Like this relationship really progressed. And you probably moved in very, very quickly because you were getting each other. Like you just really connected straight away. So this relationship did move on very fast. If we look at the advice from your spirit team, you also have the six of wands here. Whatever you do, Aquarius, whatever you decide, you will have victory. You're going to have victory in the end. In the sense that whatever you decide to do, whether you're with this person or not, you're going to still come out winning. Why? This is the reason why I want to say this, I can definitely see here, Aquarius, that you have good intentions. You're a catch. Despite what you might think, you're an excellent catch. I look at your person, they've got stuff they need to deal with, the way they've been acting, going behind your back. No, that's not how relationships work. So it doesn't matter what you do, you still attract. You can attract people. You can still turn your life around, even if this falls apart or even if this works out. If we look at the moon, yeah, queen of swords. So the queen of swords is represented by Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. But we're talking about you, Aquarius. So this is, if you look at, if you look at this position of this core card, as you can see the queen, she's holding a weapon. And I feel though, Aquarius, that you kind of like already suspected that something was going on. And it's like you're putting your sword down. It's like, I will allow you to talk. It's like you caught this person out on the act and you're like, what the hell is going on? And if you've got that assertive, the Queen of Swords does have that assertive attitude in the sense, what's going on? Like you're not afraid to confront people. You're not afraid of confrontation because first of all, Aquarius, you don't play games. Your person's been playing games, definitely. So what do you do? You confront them. And it's left your person like, oh, oh my God, I don't know. It's like they've been caught out. You can see in the shadows what's going on because you're coming across now as the poor card, the queen of swords. And the thing is, you don't, in a situation like this, when something is wrong, you don't think with your heart. You remove the emotions and you think with your head because you don't like to play games. And if anything, the worst, the worst thing any star sign can do with an Aquarius is play games because Aquarius doesn't tolerate playing games. No, Aquarius likes things to be straight and honest. If we look at the nine of swords, yeah, we've got the page of swords. So there has been challenging news. We've got three pages now. There has been challenging news that your person has said, even you Aquarius, challenging news, things that you're putting your foot down. And the thing is with the Page of Swords, it does show when you both of you kind of like you step away and you reflect on those news. You reflect on the challenging news. But unfortunately, these news have left you quite uh, fearful with the Nine of Swords in the sense you can't sleep at night. You, you've got very high stress and anxieties. This is also the spying card. So either you, Aquarius, because you've been maybe suspecting something weird about your person, maybe you started spying on them, just keeping tracks of their whereabouts or their phone messages, and your suspicions were correct because there's, there's something wrong here. The Seven of Swords, why are they sneaking out? Mm, six of Swords. Yeah. So the Six of Swords is moving away from turbulent times now. So this person, yeah, even though they have done something behind your back, at the same time, they're moving away from turbulent times. What else is there? Eight of Cups. So again, you feel though, Aquarius, that you probably rejected this person, that you told them to leave. That's, that's why there's no contact. That's why they haven't contacted you. So the Eight of Cups walking away. So this person definitely had to walk away. I feel like it was you, though, that said that, though, Aquarius, that you said, I need you to leave. I need you to go away. I need you to leave me alone. So they've walked away. The Page of Pentacles. 
also with the Page of Cups. So this has come out twice. You have the Page of Cups here and here. More messages. These are more messages that are going to come towards you. I feel like there will be a message like of an apology because it's like they want to come clean. It's like they want to say what's really been happening. So there's going to be more than one message that this person is definitely going to reach out. The High Priestess, again, we have the Page of Wands. There's, there's a lot of messages here. We've got three pages here. We've got a page here and a page here. This person will contact you in regards to their secrets, why they've been so secretive. They will, definitely will take action. And the thing is, what's the outcome? So we do have the Page of Cups. Should you take this person back? Mm. So we do have the Ten we have the Ten of Swords. This is like hitting rock bottom. This is like, there's been deceit. There's been betrayal, definitely. Absolutely. Like, this person did a number on you, Aquarius. It's like literally hitting rock bottom. And th the thing is, I don't feel you can trust this person. And even though they, they're going to try to message you, they're going to try. It's like, they, it's like they're find, are finding the reasons behind their actions. And there could be even a bit of blame, even a little bit of manipulation. However, though, Aquarius, I don't feel you should take them back because you ended with the Ten of Swords. I feel that, mm, I feel like they're, they're probably going to try to sweet talk you and they're going to just, they're going to go back to their old ways. Let me confirm it. Let me take another two cards. Yeah, we got, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles again. They're coming with an offer. Like they're coming here with something tangible, something very real. Well, what is this offer? Oh, again, Seven of Swords. So this has come out twice. It's here, right here, and now here. Again, line stealing, cheating, going behind your back. It, and I'm going to be honest, Aquarius, it's like, yeah, they're going to try to come back in, into your life with messages, but in the end, they're, going, they're not going to change. They are not going to change at all. It's like they say one thing and they do the other. They are not going to change these people. This person's not going to change. This is why you have the emperor. You need to step up, be structured, be disciplined. With the emperor, this shows that sometimes you need to make a tough decision. And whatever that tough decision is, it's going to be okay. You will come out with victory. Because you're you're a different person, Aquarius. You're a different person compared to this person. And the thing is, I feel like though Aquarius, you, your values are way different compared to this person. You've got really good values. You want stability. You want honesty, loyalty. This person is giving you the complete opposite. Because they're always they're lying, and they're always there's always an issue with trust here. It's like. They say one thing and they do the other. And you did come out with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. And you can avoid all of this, Aquarius. So if this person does message you back and you're feeling that there is a line of BS behind their words, mm, listen to your intuition because most likely it's telling you that you are right. I'm going to take out a card, a final card for you, Aquarius. What is the final card for Aquarius, please? What do we have? Hmm. So we do have the Knight of Pentacles here. So the Knight of Pentacles, again, this has come out twice. Right here. Knight of Pentacles, this has come out twice. Offers, changes, opportunity. What is this offer? What is this change, please? Mm, yeah, see? Now we have the Seven of Cups. It's like this person's coming back, and at the same time, you may be a little bit overwhelmed with choices and your options. It's like you don't know what to do. You don't know whether to take this person back. And again, emotions will be filled. And the best thing you can do, Aquarius, even if you are still unsure, you need to ground yourself. You need to ground yourself and make a decision from your head, not from your heart. Because that's what the Queen of Swords does. She doesn't decide through her head. She removes her heart. I don't think you can see it. No, you can't see it in this um, tarot card. But in traditional tarot, the Queen of Swords removes her heart. She puts it in a cage so she can make a decision with her head. Because 
The Queen of Swords doesn't fool around. No. The Queen of Swords is very logical, analytical, strategic. And she's like the type of person, and this is just a metaphor, she will chop someone's head off and then ask questions. Like, was I supposed to do that? You get the idea. So make a decision from your head if this person returns and you're still unsure about what to do. But don't forget, you, there is the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. I, what I'm trying to also say, I don't want history repeating itself and you getting hurt again. No, we can avoid all of that. So just remember the advice here. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for joining me. I wish you a beautiful day. Power to you. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.